Hey everyone, as you guys know, I've been uploading weekly videos on YouTube with the purpose of helping you guys. I have been consistent for over a year and I've never asked for anything from you guys in return. The community that we have built up together is amazing and I appreciate each and every single one of you that has found his or her way to us and has stuck around. You guys are awesome and I want to thank you guys for being such a great community. Lately I've been struggling with my motivation to continue to create more content for my channel as I feel like the views are going down. I re would really appreciate if you guys could help me find my motivation helping the views stay con consistent by telling your friends who also play Forza to watch this video. Join our community and help my viewer base grow. So guys, don't forget this video to give this video a thumbs up. Tell your friends about our community and to join me every Saturday live on Twitch. Now, let's go over back to the video I always make, the weekly festival. So, we had series 17, summer, and as usual, I'm gonna show you how I do it on the Fortaton and also the cars I use on the championships. I am a few days late because I always try to find the best cars um, for every championship as fast as possible. I test them, I only upload my tune after I've done a championship if I'm happy with it. I then see that the Dravatars are far enough to actually win the championships. Now let's go to the weekly Forzaton. The Forzaton shop, as you can see, there's a Honda Bia truck in it. Um, if you don't have it, you should get it because I also I actually used it uh, for the PR stunts. And then we have of course the Santa stuff. So let's have a look at the Forzaton. We need to have the 1965 Mini Cooper S. I'm already in that car. You need to win two dirt racing, two road racing series, and then we need a skill score of 75,000. Now that's gonna be very easy. So first I'll show you. This has also been used a long time now. The two blueprints are here at Mud Kickers. So you just need to find my blueprint for it. It's called Easy Fortaton. And just do them twice and you will win it. Now, then let's go for the uh, skill points. You always go to the Greendale Airstrip. Now I have a few tunes for the Mini. And I will show you which one. So let's have a quick look because I didn't rename one of them one. So this one here is an old one that I use for Drift Adventure. This one I used for the skills and this one will be for the playgrounds. Now I'm in the D class now. If you uh, use this one, you will see it's very, very easy to just get the 72,000 because uh, if I can remember, this one has a multiplier of seven. So you just go on the airstrip and then you do your thing. You drift around a little bit in the little one and you will have it very easy. Now let's go to this one. Now I did about four times the trial. I don't know, this week I couldn't win with any of the random people in the team. But I'll show you what car that I use for this. Now my always my first choice of uh, for something like this is the Lancia because I have it in several classes. Um, this car is very stable; it has very good handling and all. But I switched to another car this week, and I will show you which one. And it's actually this one, the Audi Sport Quattro. The car is uh, way faster than the Lancia. It still has good handling, um, there will be uh, a track that you are on the road, don't worry about it. It slides a little bit more than the Lancia, but you will see you can win easily with this car. Now, the car that we win from that is the Renault. I'll go quickly to it. That's this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Then we have playgrounds. I've done. I didn't do the playgrounds yet. So I always do that on my uh, live streams on Saturday. Now the car that I'm gonna be using is also the mini. But um, for example, GTR Matt 
suggested me that you also can use a fort. Uh, it's the old fort van. But that I will look on the stream later on what I'll be using. I think I'm just going to use my mini. I made a tune for it. I'm happy with it. It has fast acceleration. So that's what I'm going to use. What can you win from that? Well, boots. Quacky boots. Okay, let's go to the other one. The old school championship. You need an S1 900 retro supercars. Now, I'll show you. I'll go. You actually go to my cars. My favorites, S1, and then retro supercars. As you can see, I have a few of them. Um, in the description, I if I see the McLaren, I always use a McLaren. But this one is also tuned for seasonal a few weeks ago, and it's actually a very good car also. The Esprit is very fun to drive with, and you can also use the F40. So that's a little bit what you like to drive in, um, but... I always take uh, the McLaren. Now, what can you win from that? It's a Maserati, an old one. I think it's like 2 million in the auto show. Uh, let's go to the Maserati. There you go. It's uh, this one here. The Pini Farini. Yeah, it's 2 million in the auto show. You can just buy it or you can just win it. So you can sell that car again. Now, let's go to the other one. The Millennial Club uh, Cup. We need an S1 900 from 2000. Well, I didn't have very much choice. Well, I did have a uh, choice, but the thing is, I always go to some cars that I always prefer. So if we go to year and then to 2000, there are cars, but the thing is, it's um, it's dirt. So, of course, I'm going to use the 2008 Dutch Viper. It has dirt tune on it, and it was very easy to win uh, that championship. Now, the car that we win from that is the Bugatti. Also a very good car, this one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Here at Last Chance Saloon, we need the A800 Super Saloons. Um, there are probably some, maybe some better cars um, to use, but I actually use the car that I've been using like in the beginning of the game. The M2 Coupe has always been a very good car for that. Um, and that's actually the one that I used for this championship. Now the car that we can win from this is a car that I would I would buy in real life because I think it's one of the sexiest car in this game and also in real life. It's this Alfa Romeo. 
Okay, that's for the championships. Now the funny thing, the PR stunts. Well, you already know I'm gonna fail at one, but well, that's how it goes when you record a video in one time and then not edit everything. What you do as a mistake. So let's have a look at the stunts. I'll go actually first on this one. So like I told you, there is a Biotrick in the Fortaton shop for free. And I'll tell you why you should also use that car. So let's go to Toyota. The Baya truck. This car is so stable on this part that you can just easily um, have this one done. It's a heavy truck, so it's very stable. It's fast enough. I tune it that it's fast enough. And there you go. As you can see, it flies very far. And it's more than enough uh, for this seasonal one. Now, then, here we have a speed zone. And it starts... Well, I start always start here, but you can actually do both sides. It doesn't really matter. Um, and, of course, I take the muzzle for this one. You just need to... Make sure you don't fly out of the corner. So I'll take my road one. And then you can... It, it really doesn't matter, just drive. It's how you prefer. The car is fast enough. You don't need to put much effort in this one. Well, of course, well, there you go. I failed because I went too fast, but you can go both sides. Um, I, well, I need to have one PR stunt that I failed in my videos. Then here we need um, a high speed. So you can start, for example, from here. Or you can also take the Ferrari 599XXE, but I just stick to my muzzle because it's a cool car. Yeah, I just don't mind the traffic. Just don't hit it. Like I said, don't hit the traffic. Um, you will fail, as you can see. I'll quickly go one more time. But this is how it goes in the game. It doesn't always go perfect. Let's try one more time. Well, that's much better. So as you can see, the car does what it has to do. So I covered everything. I didn't do um, the multi rivals yet and also the online adventure nuts. I will do that later on or in the following days. Now, as you can see here, what do we win? At 50%, we win a Maserati Le Levante. It's not a new car and we win a phrase, happy holidays. And as you can see on the complete list, at 50%, we will have a brand new car, the L the Alpine A110, but from 2017. Uh, I like the old one, so I'm very curious about the new one. And then at 80%, you have the Shelby Daytona, also a very good car, for example, in A class, even in B class. So that's gonna be good because it's a 10 million car in the auto show. Okay, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I'll be streaming later on. It's Saturday. Um, my apologies for being late with my video because i was a little bit struggling if i actually would it make one but i got some messages of people that were actually waiting for my video but i hope you keep supporting me and i'll keep making these videos so i hope to see you on my live stream on twitch today and i wish you a very nice weekend bye bye